Good morning, Redwood, and happy Monday. Today for lunch, we are having twin cheeseburgers, one of my favorites, and let's see what birthdays we have. And we have no birthdays to celebrate today, so let's celebrate two other holidays instead. Today is Constitution Day and National Apple Dumpling Day. I'm going to start with Apple Dumpling Day. I cannot find any history on this day or why it's chosen to be September 17th, but in case you're not sure, these are pictures of apple dumplings here. They are a pastry, kind of like a pie, um, but they've got apples inside of them, and they're baked, and they cover with sugar. You can use them with ice cream, and they make me hungry just thinking about them, and I think they're very yummy, uh, but they're called apple dumplings, and they are delicious. This is the time for apple harvest and the time that we begin baking again a lot of times because the weather is supposed to start cooling off around this time of year so maybe that's why they're calling it national apple dumpling day but there is no real reason for it and the other day constitution day is celebrated on september 17th every year and it is a celebration of our united states constitution being signed on september 17th 1787 and that's an important paper that tells everyone in our country um, what rights we have and what responsibilities we have uh, to make sure our country is a safe place for everyone and a place that's respectful for everyone. It's also been called Citizenship Day. And it's a day set aside to celebrate those who have become citizens and to remind all of us what we should do to become citizens. So let's see, if you were going to celebrate Constitution Day, um, you might read the constitution or you might there's an there's an old cartoon that this is actually a clip from that little cartoon um about how the constitution makes laws in our country it's not a it's not a person it's a piece of paper i know it's a dancing piece of paper here but that's just a pretend paper so the constitution is not a, a person it's a paper but that helps us know what the rules are in our country or if you're going to celebrate national apple dumpling day perhaps you would might to actually try an apple dumpling or just pick an apple and, and say wow i've got the start of an apple dumpling no matter which day you choose to celebrate make it a great one okay let's see we have several announcements this morning uh first off preschool started starts or started today and so we want to say welcome to all of our little indians as they are in the building for the first time and students, if you see them around the building, remember a friendly wave, a quiet wave is fine. Don't motion them over out of their lines, things like that, because they are learning some of the most important things at school right away, how to stand in lines, how to follow directions from the teachers, and all those important things. So thank you for your help in that. Um, also, I've been asked about pickups and how that changes. So for buses, there is no change that as far as for the preschool kiddos. Their teachers walk them out to the buses, and they'll make sure they get on the right buses. And so... Uh, to the older kids, you used to go to your normal bus as you normally would. Your preschool brother, sister, or cousin, whomever you'd be looking for, will already be on the bus or will be brought to the bus by their teachers. Um, also, as far as those of you who are picked up car riders, if you are a car rider and you currently go to the gym side, but you have preschool brothers, sisters, or cousins you're getting picked up with, you're going to switch to the K2 side. Because it's the, 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 the preschool teachers have to release their own students. They, are, they can't just send them down with somebody else. That's one of the rules the preschool has. That, that's a rule that they're told. They don't get to make that rule. So to make things simpler for our families, we're going to release students on that side. So if you're a preschool family and you're a car picker-upper, you'd be a K2 picker-upper on that side of the building. If that doesn't make sense or you've got kids who are confused, shoot me a message, catch me in the hall, and I'll do my best to explain. I'll probably do an email also, teachers, adults, just so you're aware. Um, let's see here. Uh, I thought there was something else I was going to talk to you about. Oh, yeah, dismissal for today. So we are in week three. So I'm thinking we've got a lot of our system figured out. So three through five, keep rocking it. You're doing a great job. Thank you. I'd say a second grade can release... Um, I'm going to suggest they leave the building at 2.55. So second grade teachers, you can send. We should have buses here by then. If they would not be here, I'd be stopping all the traffic anyway. But if um, as long as buses are here, students, second graders, you can go right to your buses now too, just like the third through fifth graders. So it was K and 1. And K1, um, 
I'm going to leave it to you guys as far as how you want to do your lines, if you think you still need to do lines, and how you want to get those to the buses. I'll trust your judgment on that. Um, we've done a great job with getting our bus loads loaded safely and efficiently, so I want to keep that up, make sure everyone's getting on the right bus. And so K1, I leave it to you to figure out if you want to do any changes to your system at this point or how you want to handle those things. So second through fifth, we'll go right to your buses. Uh, third through fifth, remember you'll wait for the bell to ring. Second graders, uh, you will go out at about 255. And this, these are bus students. That doesn't affect the gym and the pickup areas. Let's see here. Now back to my list. Um, I'm going to be sending out an email shortly. Um, sometime today, let's just put it that way, about breakfast for those classrooms that say it's okay for kids to bring breakfast to their classroom. It's getting confusing for our paras and our helpers in the lunchroom to know if they can send kids or they should send kids. Because my, my thought is if you're saying you, it's okay for kids to eat in your classroom, then when that bell, that second bell rings, they need to, to go to the classroom. They don't need to wait with, with their friends or whatever. But we need to know which classrooms are okay with that because there might be someone who says, I, I simply don't want that. Um, star window for star testing opens today. So there's, as part of our newsletter, I know Mrs. Ward and Mr. Wilmer have been working with you and Mrs. Hall as well. So today is Constitution Day. So teachers, just a heads up. Remember, we have to do our part to, uh, to honor the requirements of Constitution Day. And also, we are playing sardines this week. And so if you don't remember what sardines was, we played that a few times last year. Sardines is the big hiding game where Mr. Janicki tries to find us, and we have to hide so he cannot find us in our building. It's, we've, we have always been pretty good at playing that game, and we fool him. We have the most number of kids we've ever had playing sardines at once. We'll have about 700 kids playing sardines. So let's see if we can win with that huge number. I think we can, but it's going to take a lot of work, all of us working together. Uh, teachers, you might remind your friends how we play sardines. And if I have adults who do not know what I'm talking about when I say sardines, please feel free to ask either a colleague or myself. And I think those are all of my announcements. I do want to say, again, great job at the assembly on Friday. We had two different assemblies for the um, Hel a Redwood Run, almost called the Healthy Hike. And um, I thought your attendance and behavior was very, very good. So thank you. Um, I do want you to know I put it on my pride necklace this morning, and I can still smell whipped cream. It was, I had it on my neck during the fourth, fifth grade assembly when I got pied. Um, did not have it on when I got pied again, kindergarten through third. But I can still smell the whipped cream in it. So that that's not a fun smell on Monday morning. But anyways, hey, it's good, right? So don't forget, you should get your um, forms today for the Redwood Run. I'll do some reminders throughout this week and next about prizes and things like that. We'll try to get some signs up in the hallways to help everyone remember how to earn those different prizes. I know you're excited about those. I think that's it. At this time, would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job, and everyone have a great day, learners.